Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will implement assignment problem using branch and bound technique with an example. Solve the following job assignment problem using branch and bound technique. So here they have given the job and person in matrix form. So first step is compute the initial lower bound value. So here they have given four jobs: job one, job two. Job 3 and job 4 and person A, B, C and D. So, this is the cost involved to complete the job. So, here how to calculate the initial lower bound value in this sense? Take minimum of each row and add them. So, first row we have to consider the minimum value 9, 2, 7, 8, minimum value was 2. Second row 6, 4, 3, 8, minimum value was 3. Third row 5, 8, 1, 8, minimum value was 1. Fourth row 7, 6, 9, 4, minimum is 4. Okay. And add these values. This is nothing but the initial lower bound value. So, what is the lower bound value here we are getting? That is 10. Initial lower bound. Okay. That is 10. So, here the state space tree, if you are considering in the sense, this is the initial state space tree. So, this is start, LB is 10, initial lower bound is 10 and this will be considered as level 0. So, second step is consider person A, okay, that is assign various jobs to person A and compute the lower bound value. Here, I am assigning job 1 to person A and here job 2 to person A and compute its lower bound value. Similarly, job 3 to person A, job 4 to person A and compute the lower bound value. Okay. So, here assign the first job to person A. So, if you are assigning the first job to person A in the sense, the same row and the same column, you should not assign any other job to any other person. That is the meaning. So, if you are assigning first job to person A in the sense, the total cost is 9. Next up, for person B, if you are considering among these three costs, choose the least one. So, least one is 3. Similarly, for person C, least one is 1. For person D, least one is 4. And the lower bound value here is 17. Okay. Next, assign the second job to person A. That is second job you are going to assign to person A. So, here the cost is 2. So, if you are assigning second job to person A, same column, same row, you should not assign any other job to any other person. So, for person B, among these three jobs, which one is the least cost job that you can assign? That is 3. And for person C, among these three, least one is 1. And person D, 7, 9, 4, it is 4. And here, the lower bound value is 10. Similarly, assign third job to person A. So, here in this step, we are considering only person A. So, for person A, assign first job and check its lower bound value. Assign second job and check its lower bound value. Now, we are assigning third job and we are going to check the lower bound value. So, third job cost is 7. So, for person A, we are assigning the third job and its cost is 7. So, same row, same column, you should not assign any other job to any other person. Okay. So, among this remaining, the least cost is 6, 4, 7, least one is 4. And for person C, it is 5, 8, 8, least cost is 5. And for person D, 7, 6, 4, least is 4. And the lower bound value here, if you are considering in the sense, 20. Similarly, assign fourth job to person A. So, fourth job, if you are assigning to person A in the sense, its cost is 8. So, same row, same column, you should not assign any other job to any other person. Okay. So, for B, among these three, least one is 3. For C, among these three, least one is 1. For D, among these three, least one is 6. So, the lower bound value here is 18. Now, if you are considering here, we have assigned job 1 to person A and computed the lower bound value. Job 2 to person A and computed its lower bound value. 
job 3 to person A and computed its lower bound value. Job 4 to person A and we have computed the lower bound value. So, among these four lower bound values, which one is least? We will proceed with this node and construct the next level component of the state space tree. Okay. So, now with this, we will construct the next level state space tree. That is level 1 state space tree and level 0 state space tree if you are considering in the sense its lower bound value is 10 and this will be considered as the initial state space tree and this is level 0 and next level we have assigned for person A job 1 and its lower bound value is 17 and for person A we have assigned job 2 and its lower bound value is 10. Next, we have assigned job 3 to person A and its lower bound value is 20. Similarly, we have assigned job 4 to person A. Okay. And its lower bound value is 18. So, among these four lower bound values, the least one is nothing but Second job with lower bound value 10. So, the promising solution with the least lower bound value is node number 2 with the lower bound value 10. So, we will assign job 2 to person A. So, now person A is over and this will be considered as level 1 state space tree. Okay. Now, with this node, we will proceed to construct the next level component that is Assigning different jobs to person B and check its lower bound value. Okay. So, now we have assigned a job 2. So, the remaining available jobs to person B is job number 1, 3 and 4. Because second job we have assigned to person A. And we will construct the next level component by considering job number 1, job number 3 and job number 4 to person B and compute the lower bound value. Next step. Consider person B. Assign various jobs to person B by leaving job number 2 because job 2 we have assigned to person A and compute the lower bound value. So, here for person B we are going to assign job number 1 and here for person B we are going to assign job number 3. Job number 2 option is not available and here person B job number 4 we are going to assign. So, now, so, A lower bound value was 2 only. Okay, already we have assigned job number 2 to A and its cost is 2. Okay, so for B if you are considering, so it's 3, 7. And we are going to assign job number 1 to person B. Okay, and its cost is 6. And if you are assigning in the sense, same row, same column, you should not assign any other job. And for person B, among these two, least one is 1. And for person D, among these two, least one is 4. And its lower bound value is 13. Okay. Similarly, assign job number 3 to person B. Okay. And its cost is 3. And if you are assigning job number 3 in the sense, same row, same column, you should not assign any other job. And for person C, among these two, least one is 5. And for person D, among these two, least one is 4. And its lower bound is 14. Next, assign job number 4 to person B. So, job number 4, if you are assigning in the sense, its cost is 7. And same row, same column, you should not assign any other job to any other person. So, for C, least cost is 1. And for D, least cost is 7. Okay. And its lower bound, if you are calculating in the sense, 17. So, among these 3, this is the least lower bound value. And we are going to assign job number 1 to person B. Compared to these two lower bound value, this is the least lower bound value. Okay. So, with this, we will construct the next level state space tree. That is level 2. Already, we have chosen job number 2 and we have assigned to person A and its lower bound value is 10. Okay. Next, for person B, we have assigned job number 1 and its lower bound is 13. Similarly, for person B, we have assigned job number 3 and its lower bound value is 14.
similarly for person b we have assigned job number 4 and its lower bound value is 17 so among these three the most promising node with the least lower bound value is node number 5 so here if you are considering this is zero node 1 2 3 4 and this is 5 6 and 7 so the most promising node with least lower bound value is node number 5 with the lower bound value 3 and we are going to fix job number 1 for person b okay and we are getting the lower bound value so this is the next level state space tree that is level 2 so now we are choosing this node node number 5 and with this node we are proceeding to construct the next level component for person c consider person c assign various jobs to person c by leaving job number 2 and job number 1 job number 2 we have assigned to person a job number 1 we have assigned to person b so by leaving these two jobs compute the lower bound value okay so here if you are considering already job number 2 is assigned to person a and its cost is 2 job number 1 is assigned to person b and its cost is 6 for c if you are considering in the sense assign job number 3 so for c we are going to assign job number 3 and we are going to compute the lower bound value similarly for c we are going to assign job number 4 and we are going to compute the lower bound value so if you are assigning job number 3 its cost is 1 same row same column you should not assign any other job so for d only one option it is 4 and if you are calculating the lower bound value it is 13 similarly here for a it is 2 for b it is 6 and for c we are going to assign job number 4 its cost is 8 so same row same column you should not assign any other job so for d only option is 9 and its lower bound value if you are calculating in the sense we are getting it as 25 okay which one is least obviously lower bound value with 13 is the least so we are going to assign job number 3 to person c and we will compute the next level state space tree okay so if you are assigning job number 3 to person c in the sense only one job is available for person d that is nothing but job number 4 so we will assign job number 4 to person d problem is over we will get the optimal solution now we will construct the complete state space tree for this assignment problem so this will be considered as level 3 state space tree and here if you are considering in the sense job number 1 we have assigned to person b and its lower bound value is 13 and this will be considered as the most promising node in level 2 okay so this is level 1 this is level 0 okay and this is level 3 so here with this we have considered to construct the next level component of the state space tree and here if we have assigned job number 3 to c in the sense for person d fourth job we need to assign and its lower bound value was 13 similarly if you have assigned job number 4 to person c in the sense obviously only available job is job number 3 assign that to person d and its lower bound value was nothing but 25 so among these two the least cost node is nothing but assign job number 3 to person c and job number 4 to person d and we will get the lower bound value 13 and this will be considered as the most promising node and here we will get the optimal solution so the optimal solution if you are considering in the sense assign job number 2 to person a job number 1 to person b job number 3 to person c job number 4 to person d okay and here cost if you are considering in the sense total cost we will get here is 13 and this is the least lower bound value for this given problem so this is nothing but job assignment problem using branch and bound technique okay and this is the procedure to implement 
we have explained the procedure step by step in detail for better understanding okay thank you for watching this video